Welcome Pisces and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 9th of August through to Sunday the 15th of August 2021. It is about half an hour until midnight so technically Pisces I am completing your reading um, in the 8th um, the 8th of August at Lionsgate Portal, um, the actual opening. And I'm really, really chuffed that I've managed to try and get everybody done uh, within that portal. So even though it will get uploaded, it will probably by the time it gets saved and uploaded, it will probably register on the 9th. Um, but yeah, it, we are we are definitely in the portal. So I'm very excited for you. Pisces, on the uh left hand side will be your crowning message cards the middle and right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards so pisces let's jump straight in um i saw for your pre-shuffle on your advice cards i saw holiday and i also saw at the bottom of the deck um in your pre-card um shuffle um the uh nine of cups uh, so I feel as if some of you may be planning on going on holiday um, and I feel that you're going towards your happiness. All right. So let's have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question? How does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel to... Woo, okay. Okay. That was a little bit too many cards that have come out, so I'm just going to take them back. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. I feel like I was spilling the beans. It's like my spirit team was saying that I'm spilling the beans. <laughs> my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question? Ah, thank you. Healing the heart. Oh, look at that beautiful i feel as if healing of the heart oh has been uh done quite in the mind okay some of you i feel as if you were really over analyzing a situation omg and look at that we've got 23 and it's mirroring 32 so i feel as if whoever you're connecting with uh, i feel as if you were mirroring each other Something went out of whack, okay? And I feel as if um, you both got hurt through it. And, uh, and both of you, I feel, are mirroring each other about really thinking about um, what actually upset your hearts, all right? I am picking up, your card is the mystic. I feel as if the two of you have the ability to communicate with each other telepathically. Something has grown, something has blossomed, okay? And that is the quietening of the mind. It's taking action, that solar plexus there, to quiet the mind, to stop overanalyzing, get out of that kind of mental torture. Um, and what I feel, it's it's bringing healing of the heart. But I also feel that this uh, lion's gate has also helped to nurture that, to blossom that. Um, feeling the love for oneself. There may be actually quite a lot of love between the two of you. All right. With that 23 and that 32, I'm going with it. You guys are mirroring each other. All right. One more card, please my angels and spirit guides of the divine yeah look and even in this card it looks like two faces here and here they are petals but i'm just looking at it i'm thinking oh my gosh that looks like two 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 people one more card please for both of you may be into meditation Connecting to try and quiet that mind, to allow healing of the heart to come in. I feel as if um, you've had an element of success, I feel. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, one more please. Thank you. Wow, yeah. The work that you and this person, whoever you are connecting with... Um, 
whatever work you have put into yourselves that I feel that both of you are mirroring each other is bearing fruit, okay? I also feel as if um, there's a lot of abundance around you, okay? The work that you've put in, it's bearing fruit and it's, it's almost as if you're overflowing, overflowing with abundance, overflowing with healing, overflowing with universal love. Look at the pink that's coming here. A lot of universal love and it's also in your cards here as well. There's lots of flickers of pink going on. This is all about universal love coming in to almost cradle you, Mother Earth coming in to cradle you, to restore balance, to quieten the mind and both of you are experiencing this together. Look, transformation and i feel as if you're both being blessed with this love this universal love um and the work that you're putting in to heal your heart to balance yourselves you're mirroring each other and i feel as if it's paying off this week all right let's have a look at and i also feel as if for some of you your third eye chakra is really opening with the the violet and the pinks coming in here that, that deep uh, purple, it almost feels as if Divine Spirit Universe, I feel like they're trying to show you something, uh, Pisces. And I feel as if you going into meditation or prayer, connecting with Mother Earth in some way is going to help you uh, see something from a different perspective, I feel. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning wisdom? messages to the question how does the soulmate thank you omg do you know something cannot even make that up you're dealing with your twin flame and i saw that <coughs> look at that 23 and 32 that wasn't a coincidence that that caught my eye, Pisces. You're dealing with your twin flame. Um, you guys are mirroring each other. Beloved Zeus lovers, the cosmic unit, union. This cosmic union is destined for greatness. Look, take in that card, take in the beauty of it. I feel as if whatever it is you guys have been doing, A, first of all, you've been mirroring each other. And second, I feel as if you are solidifying your root chakra, grounded with one another. There may be a conversation that's coming up, but in terms of that emotion, the healing, the balancing, quieting the mind, it's as though... Uh, yeah, you're both aligning with each other. And I feel that Divine Spirit Universe is de de telling you that destiny, um, that this is a destined connection um, and that there is something great. There's something great that is supposed to be born out of this connection that's going to be abundant. It's going to bear fruit. The work that you guys have put in. And do you know something, uh, Pisces? I am picking up that the two of you don't know that you're actually going through the same thing as each other. It almost feels as if you have been in, in a little bit of separation, healing the heart because something didn't quite, you guys weren't in alignment for something. But you both have definitely been overanalyzing past conversations, perhaps a lot of regret, a lot of fear or doubt. But you've done a lot, a lot of work to heal that heart. And as you have done that, Divine Spirit Universe is saying that you guys are going through this because you are a twin flame. You're connecting with your twin flame. That's real beautiful. And I feel that whatever is going on, it's, it's going to be transformational because you're both going to bear fruit, fruit, sorry, um, both as an, in, as an individual, you're going to bear fruit, but also as um, a, a union, a soul union, you're going to bear fruit because there's a purpose. There's a purpose. I feel that both of you coming into union in this lifetime is to serve something greater than yourselves. But just, I love this card so much. Um, 
Yeah, beloved Zeus, beautiful. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, one more crowning wisdom message, please, to the question. How does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, thank you. Oh, two. So we've got, oh my gosh, Lostry, uh, new beginnings. You both are entering a new beginning because you guys have mastered your emotions. You have mastered healing omg is this bearing fruit or what there's a new beginning for both of you and i feel as if you've mastered self-love um mastered healing mastered connecting i feel connecting mind body and soul but also uh mastering um i almost feel like the importance of this connection in some shape, form or another, but there is definitely a new beginning um, because you both mastered healing of the heart, all right? And I can't believe that. I said that you guys were mirroring each other and then what comes out is beloved Zeus. Look, number two. <laughs> Okay, let's continue with myself. All right, uh, my angels and um, sorry, Pisces, um, I'm just so excited for you. Um, if this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Pisces. Um, and for existing subscribers, if you, um, what was I going to say? returning subscribers thank you for coming back thank you for coming back i really really do appreciate it um and i really hope that all new uh viewers uh existing um subscribers um i really really hope that you guys get a really meaningful and useful message out of this reading but um i'm so pleased to say that you are connecting with your twin flame on this really important important um day uh which is um the 8th of the 8th, um, 2021. This is when I'm doing this reading. Um, so uh, I feel very, very, very blessed and honoured to deliver this to you. All right. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Pisces, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Look at that. They want to build a future with you. You want to build a future with them. How does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 9th of August through to Sunday the 15th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Pisces that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's going on with you and your soulmate, Twin Flame. All right, my angels and spirit guides. Thank, ooh, thank you. Okay, so this person sees you, uh, uh, Pisces, as somebody that is uh, ready to settle down ready to uh, marry. They may see you as marriage material. I feel as if you may have come towards this person with a solid offer in the past and it may have been rejected, okay, because there was some healing that needed to happen. But this person definitely recognises that you're somebody that's grounded, balanced, beautiful, wise. Um, and yeah, they, they, they will wait. They're waiting, okay. I feel as if Mm, let's see what they're waiting for. Um, but you definitely, uh, I feel, came to them with a solid offer. Wow. Okay. They Did they reject it? That's what I'm picking up. They rejected it. I feel as if they're waiting for a new beginning. I feel as if you've lost hope. I feel that you're feeling quite insecure a little bit. This person is waiting, I feel, to come towards you with a new beginning, okay? But I feel that they're uncertain. Now, it's interesting because if it was like that, they would be waiting for you to come towards them for a new beginning, all right? It's reversed. So they're waiting to come towards you with a solid beginning. I feel as if this, look at that new beginning. 
And right in the middle of your deck is the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, something that is very passionate. You both have a lot of passion for each other, all right? There is no denying that. We've got the sun here and we've got the sun here. So I feel as if you do see each other as um, abundant, victorious with each other, um, definitely um, a, a couple that, that sees... Um, prosperity abundance happiness with each other i feel as though um i'm also picking up i don't know what they're waiting for you guys might be across the waters or across the seas okay for some of you different locations different countries maybe i also feel as if they are I feel as if they're waiting, they're waiting for something. Maybe one of the things that they have mastered is patience, okay? May They may have uh, mastered patience in some shape, form or another. I feel as though, um, I feel as though this olive branch is something they're a little bit uncertain about. Um, not sure i feel they're not sure uh they're not sure and i feel as if you're not sure either i feel there's a bit a lot of sadness i feel that you had to take that pentacle away but they definitely see that you are ready for marriage okay uh seeing you as somebody that is beautiful grounded um ready for marriage uh, but for whatever reason, they didn't take that. Um, they didn't take that passionate new beginning. I feel that they they want that now. I feel that they want that. This person is coming round again. I I would say. Um, it's almost as if um, this healing of the heart disappointment. Maybe not taking action. That's ending because there's a new beginning coming in. All right. Or there may be some sort of delay or neither one of you feel quite ready quite yet. I feel you're both applying patience. I'm getting so many downloads with this message uh, for you guys, Pisces. Lots and lots. Uh, it, it feels very... Very kind of wishy-washy, kind of in limbo is what I'm picking up here. Um, I'm also uh, picking up as well that... Hmm, you could be dealing strongly with a Leo. They're saying to me to call that out. Could be dealing with strong Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. All right, Um Mm, I also am um, mm, you might be feeling mm, this person rejected you I feel some of you may have gone into a bit of depression This, whatever happened between you and this person, it really hit you hard, um, Pisces. I'm so sorry to... But you know what? I feel as if you've mastered it. You've mastered it because you're moving forward. There's definitely a new beginning. Yeah, look at that. It's them. This is their energy, the King of Cups. They took away their cup of love. Or they are, yeah, they took away their cup of love. But it is, it is in your, it's in your, it's you that's, it's you that was disappointed, upset, went through a bit of a real, I would say you went into a bit of a dark place, to be honest with you. This person took their love away. They didn't express love. They didn't, mm. Let's get some clarifiers. But do you know something? This person does have love for you. They're just not telling you about it. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. So the king of swords, I feel that this person cut you out. Yeah. 
they cut you out when you came towards them with a solid offer some of you may have actually made your intentions quite known in terms of that you may have expressed them that you see them as marriage material yeah this uh king of wands this is your energy i feel as if some of you might have a lot of fire in your chart very action orientated you came you took action towards this person with regards to your intentions and this person cut you out or said something right quite cutting let's see with that three of wands what three of wands what they're waiting for wow okay oh my gosh look at that that sun card is coming out quite a bit there's quite a few cards Okay, I don't know whether or not these are supposed to come out in reverse, but I've picked them up like that, so I'm just going to go with it. So the devil card, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person, I felt uh, feel as if they, they're quite um, in, insecure with how they felt. That's why they cut you out. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel as if this person saw you. They, they rejected. They rejected knight of pentacles queen of pentacles they rejected um your offer and i feel as if they blocked building a future with you you just you said something to this person that i feel as though um you've got a lot of regret the wheel of fortune in reverse oh my gosh and the sun in the sun in reverse clarified this really really um put you in a dark place um pisces leo coming out really strongly capricorn coming out really strongly this person may have been waiting for something to transform and it didn't but there is something new. Whatever went on with whatever went on with the two of you, right? I'm not even being funny. It was it wasn't pretty. Yeah, look, this person was scared. They were scared of this connection. And I feel as if they want to come in and they want to clear something up. They've been watching you. And I feel waiting, waiting to see if you're going to put any more um, time and energy into this connection. Pisces, this is your energy coming up there with that moon card. All right. They want to clear something up to you about how they feel. Uh, I'll tell you something now, Pisces, I need to pull some more cards for real. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you uh, give me some more information, please? How does the soulmates of thank you yeah they're going to come in with swift communication omg look at that i didn't even clock that look at that pisces one two three four this person sees you as marriage material and then it's just echoed to me again one two three four and then you put them all together that's five ones this person was really really conflicted over how they felt towards you. And I feel as if they want to come in and uh, communicate something. Uh, and it's going to be really unexpected. OMG, I cannot make that up. I just saw the Four of Wands, long-term commitment, marriage. This person was scared. They were scared um, around commitment. They knew that you wanted commitment. They knew that you wanted marriage with them. It almost feels as if this person self-sabotaged this connection. And you know what? You got the you got the you got the brunt of it. You got the brunt of it. Wow. I feel that you want a new beginning with this person. You have done, I'll tell you something, you guys have really mastered your feelings. Whoever this person is, uh, Pisces, they've mastered fear lack doubt insecurity you have mastered coming out of a very very dark place for some of you absolute depression 
and you want a, you want a new beginning with this person this cut look at that cannot even wait look the change the world card is changing there's a change there's a cycle that is closing out it's because um something wasn't completed all right and i feel as if um there's a lot of regret I feel that uh, you didn't have closure. You don't really know why this person took away that cup of love. That's why you really um, got quite depressed because you didn't get closure. We've got Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus and Leo coming up. You didn't get any closure from this. But also as well, I feel as if this person also knows that something uh, was incomplete. But you want a new beginning. And you want a new beginning. I feel that you want um, marriage, long-term commitment. And I feel that you want it with this person, to be fair. But you certainly want a closure, a new beginning. Wow. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine... Please, can you clarify? Thank you. OMG, look at that. We've got the two of wands. So this person is at a crossroads, whether or not to communicate with you, what to say. With the that three, look, and one, two, three is the three. This person is waiting. They're waiting to communicate, but they don't know what they, they don't know what to say, I feel. And I feel as if it's their intuition that is almost pricking them a little bit. They know that they left you hanging. Something wasn't closed out. This it is this person didn't. The cycle between the two of you wasn't complete. I feel there wasn't closure. They know that they've got to come in and speak to you. All right. Feel the pain, Pisces. This is just such a typical uh, twin flame kind of read, to be honest. And you know what? You're the last ones that I'm doing, <laughs> the last zodiac sign that I'm doing, and you're the only one that I've had to pull out a whole another set of cards, um, which is cool. Uh, I'm very grateful um, for that because I feel that there is major transformation that's going on uh, between you and this person. But there's also a lot of conflict. Look, we've got the ace of uh, coins. This person, I feel, um, perhaps sees you coming towards them for a new beginning. But they're uncertain. This is you coming in with an olive branch, them coming towards you with an olive branch. But you're a lot more firmer. You may be conflicted. One, two, three. Look at that. You're mirroring. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five and five is ten. Completing. Something is going to complete. But look at how you're both mirroring each other. Right at the centre here, you both see each other as long-term commitment marriage. This person got cold feet. You might be, you might come towards them and try and give it another shot, um, Pisces. Thank you. What did I say? You, I feel that this person is now scared that if they offer you a cup of love, you're going to reject them. But I also feel as if this is, what is angst in this person is that you offered them a cup of love and they uh, rejected it. Now, I feel what the hesitation is coming towards you is that you may uh, reject them. But I don't feel that you will You're because you're going towards them um, with a, wanting a new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning. I feel as if you know, Pisces, you know that this person is your twin flame. You know that. That is why the tenacity... Look at the OMG. Oh, yeah, look. Hierophant, Taurus, strongly coming in. You see this person as divinely guided. I was just this minute saying, you know that they are your twin flame. And you want a new beginning. You're not giving up on this person. Even though I feel like they have pulled you through the walls and back. 
literally pulled you through the walls and back. It's a wonder that the nine of uh, wands hasn't come out because it feels as if, yeah, look, there was a tower moment. I feel as if you want to put whatever um, you want to bring about change. This person, I feel as if is scared of change. You want change. That's why you're going towards this person. You want to put this tower, the disaster that happened between the two of you. You want to put it behind you. O-M-G. They see you as marriage material. You, you're you mirroring each other. Oh my gosh. You want to put this behind you because you see this person as long-term commitment. You guys were married in past lives. Look at that. The Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Long-term commitment marriage. This person um, got nervous. And I feel as if they left you hanging. But they know that you are coming towards them uh, wanting long-term commitment marriage. They know that. But I feel as if they want the same thing, but they're not expressing it. You want to put this whole stuff behind you. And I feel that you want to, um, you want to move that world card. Yeah, look at that. Some of you are in meditation. We said that at the beginning. I feel as if you want to give equally into this connection. And I feel as if you are, are, are asking for guidance. Yeah. You may have mastered patience when this person didn't um, close out this cycle or they didn't close out why they took away a cup of love. I feel as if that closure that you wanted, you're trying to put that behind you and it's almost as if you're trying to be really positive. There's, <coughs> <coughs> There's a lot of yellow. I feel as if you're taking action, they're taking action with a lot of wisdom and knowledge from whatever needed to heal. You were both very broken hearted how, how this played out. But do you know something that hurt brought the two of you a lot of wisdom because you both know that you do want long term commitment marriage with each other. You both want a new beginning. You both want a new beginning. There's no doubt about that in my mind. How you're going to get there, that is what the two of you need to work out. But the work that you've put in with yourselves, respectively, individually, as you've been in separation, um, it's going to pay dividend. It's going to pay dividend, guys. That's, 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 oh gosh. All right, let's have a look at your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice messages for the collective? Thank you. Affirm. Look at that. Create your own affirmations. Think of words or phrases that inspire you and write them down. And I feel as if, um, Pisces, that's letting you know that if it almost feels as if you almost need to keep your vibration really up. Um, in, look at that. I was just about to say to create the future that you want with this person. Unlock your creative side with dance, music, art or writing. Express yourself. I feel as if you're being guided to stay connected with divine spirit universe. Continue on this healing path. Do things that make your heart sing with joy and love and peace. OK, um, you're mastering that, I feel. But I also feel that you're being guided to continue staying uh, grounded. OK, continue staying in that energy of quieting the monkey mind and almost speaking out what it is you want some of you may write it down some of you may I, i'm picking up write a song write a poem but i feel that you're being guided to co-create basically and ask your spirit team what what is it you want out of this you definitely want a new beginning there's no doubt about that. I almost feel as if your team is saying, can you be clearer with them? What is it you want to create? Write it down. Speak it. Huh? Look at that grounded. What did I say? Keep yourself grounded. It's time to ground and center your energy. Be truly present in your life. Yeah. 
So this new beginning, Pisces, that you want, I feel that A, there's, there's two things key. I feel that you're being guided to stay grounded and stay in this energy of um, not allowing the monkey mind to get the better of you. Because you don't want to be spiraling into this energy of that depressor, depression, sadness, all right? Um, and also, I feel that you're being guided to ask Divine Spirit Universe what you want from this uh, connection so that you can co-create with Divine Spirit Universe. Because once you do that, I feel as if it's going to bear fruit. There's definitely a new beginning coming for you. Um, you just need to continue on your path. Path of um, mastering healing, mastering self-love, mastering patience, all right? Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave that there for you. A very, very heavy reading um, for the last reading. Um, I really, actually, I, I hope it doesn't resonate with you. Um, but if you are connecting with your twin flame, then, you know, my hat goes off to you. It's been a tough journey for you, I would say. Um, so I hope this gives you um, something useful, some useful tools for you to keep going forward because you know what it's going to pay dividend in the end all right um please click that thumbs up button um on the video um subscribe if you haven't done so but until next time pisces i'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye